Our 10th grade class is going to be presenting a skit to you, and although um, all of them were not able to be here, like Ashlyn and Rhea, we hope that we're able to glorify Jesus' name through this skit. Proverbs 4, 23 to 27. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Hello, my fellow Americans. This is your president speaking. It has been a wonderful year in the 10th grade Sunday school. As a class, we learned about the power of influence and about guarding the one's heart from the corruption that exists in this world. Uh, out of many topics uh, we discussed, we're going to present to you three freer, deception, and pressure. All of these can be very detrimental in our lives, but God gives us the power to overcome the foils of the enemy through the grace of Jesus Christ. Killed. It is the deadliest attack of law enforcement officers since 9-11. Explosions have rocked an airport in a metro station in Brussels. Belgian media are reporting at least 23 people are dead. Good evening. More than 11,000 people are now thought to have been killed in southern Asia after an undersea earthquake sent enormous waves rolling across the Indian Ocean. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Diane Sawyer here at ABC News headquarters in New York, and we do have the breaking news of a shooting at an elementary school. And now, an on-the-record special, Christians under attack. She ISIS Islamic terrorist group. Justice investigation. Christians under attack. Happening now, breaking news. Paris terror fear. Multiple people are reported killed in a shooting. There's also word of possible explosions outside the National Stadium and a hostage situation unfolding right now as well. In the last year, some 120,000 Iraqi Christians have been forced out of the region because of ISIS. All over the Middle East, extremism and terrorism has put increased pressure on the Christian population. Eleven officers shot, five of them killed. Practice Christianity and you could be court-martialed. That could be the new law of the land for our armed forces, thanks to a proposal by a religious tolerance group that claims Christian evangelists are predators. Who shall I coming to. I mean the headlines like this is enough to make anybody shiver. Now it just gets me. 
why anyone would want to shut down the voices of those who are speaking the truth. We should never let anyone allow us to be silent when it means we are standing up for fear because God's right there to let your voice be heard. breakthrough we see when God stepped in at the right moment to show that young lady the truth and look beyond deception what was presented. It's just beautiful. Really.
Oh. I tell you, this just gets better and better and better. Fellow Americans, don't you agree that the Lord is incredible and in how he comes at the right time to rescue his children from the procedures and influences around them? I guess I should listen to myself because I could use God right now as I am the chief officer of this country. So to sum things up here, in this day and age, we constantly feel pressure to abandon our godly lives and it takes us further away from God. But with God's grace, we are able to guard our hearts and uh, overcome our pressure. Regardless of the age, we are called out not to be influenced by the world. Rather, let us be the light and the influence, folks. I have uh, two more words to say. Obama. <laughs>